So last session, we started off the story of Ross Comet, a giant ball of fire and ice that circles this particular universe once every thousand years. This celebration, of course, draws many viewers who are interested in astrology and the history of this universe. And they've all congregated on Cragmall Isle to celebrate this historic event. That made our friendly little tavern of Holy Hops extremely busy as you are building up to this event. During this particular festival that surrounds the um, small little village of Prison Bay, there was a performer who has collected several animals. And our adventurers did not like how they were treated. Oh, I forgot all about this. I didn't. <clears throat> so they had concocted a plan to, or threatened to at least kill him. They then planned to somehow barter an exchange of animals to free the Allosaurus from the abuser's clutches. And that is where we pick up on the evening after that deal was struck to collect various animals from around the island. have or have not discussed uh, what you actually intend to do at this point? I think we did. I think we said that we would do the adventure. Okay. I believe try to go find the animals. We talked about a safari, right? Wasn't yeah. that what happened? Yeah. It's all coming and back then to we're going to bring the animals back and we'll kill them. <laughs> and keep all the animals. <laughs> I thought you meant kill the animals. I was like, no, what? <laughs> no, not the Kill animals. the guy, kill not the, guy. the animal. Yeah, yeah of course. For sure. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys went to bed really tired since you guys had to stay up fairly late compared to your usual schedule with the prison bay being relatively quiet overall. But as you guys are slowly drifting off to sleep, you guys are pretty rudely awakened by a massive commotion outside. No oh boy. As you hear just something massive rummaging through um, the various tents, you hear screams, yelling, and all kinds of chaos. Yes. Did we get a long rest before this happened? No. Okay. Just, just checking. Okay. It's a fair question. So that spell slot that you burned is burned. So there's That's a lot of chaos going on outside. And you hear a, a roar. We didn't even feed the dinosaur the food that would heal it. I, uh, I go outside to investigate. All right. As you rush outside to see what on earth is causing the commotion, you see a couple different things. You see a, the, the first and immediate thing is the Allosaurus is freed with just <laughs> rummaging through the games and stalls, ripping it apart um, devouring the candy and food stuffs. It seems drowsy and drunk because of, it's been drugged, but it is somehow free from its leash and causing chaos in the fairgrounds. I peek my head back in the tavern, say, guys, someone beat us to it, and then proceed to wild shape into a the biggest lizard I can. Okay. Um, I believe velociraptors are small and did Yes, you turn into a lizard of some kind, the frizzy frill one. Continue. And I go as fast as I can. Okay. Up to where? To the dinosaur. And I say, hey, friend. Hey, friend. 
Um, give me a uh, animal handling check. At least it's wisdom based. Fourteen. Fourteen. It is fairly hard to get a good discussion with this drugged creature. Um, plus, you're at this point after moving outside, you're still sixty feet away from it. So going over the noise of the yelling crowd and whatnot, it's a pretty fair distance, and there's too much yelling going on. You don't think that the dinosaur heard you at this point? Um, what are you two doing at this point? I also run outside. And when I see that she's trying to get the attention of the dinosaur, I run up next to her and start doing the minor illusions of bright colors to try and distract the dinosaur so he will come this sure. way and pay attention. As you t- as you come outside, go ahead and give me a perception check. And what are you doing? Um, I'm just coming out to observe at this point and okay. see what's going on. Also Did either of you bring check. the dinosaur food that has the stuff to get the poison out of his body with you? Yes, it's in my pocket. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, also, I rolled a 12. Okay. Well, with my stuff there. Fair. And a perception check, John. So that's a wisdom with perception if you're proficient with it. Is, is it tempting fate if we angle the camera down a little bit so that Your camera? Meg's yeah. mouth isn't behind 17. the two? 17. Oh, I yeah. can. Do I need to be taller? I think or we both need more? to be taller. <laughs> We're short. I, can, oh. I said little one. We're Just tempting kidding. fate. That is not the only... Uh, John, that's little ho. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> Good yep. thing we're wearing pants. <laughs> <laughs> great. There we go. Look at how tall I look now. This is great. Go. Oh, man. All right. All right. So <clears throat> sorry. you're completely oblivious to the rest of the situation. The dinosaur <laughs> kind of draws the most attention. And that's what most people are fleeing from. May I, real quick, I just realized perception is not checked here, but I'm pretty sure we've been playing this entire time that I was had perception. And uh, performance is checked, and I don't remember having that. Do you think that that got switched? Uh, performance you have from the bartender. So gotcha. you might have accidentally got rid of perception, but I am pretty sure you have that. Okay. Right now I have persuasion, performance, insight, history, and arcana. But I thought I had perception. That's that fine. Maybe. Do I get perception now? Is that and too uh, many? Do I need to get rid of one of the other ones then? Uh, just screenshot it and uh, send it to me, and I'll just double check to see if you have the appropriate number. Okay, great. Sorry, guys. You're fine. Um, so you go outside never, and use minor illusion to try and distract. You come outside, and you notice a couple different things. Not only was the dinosaur released, but you see a couple other things as well. The uh, cockatrice was also released, and this rooster is basically running around chasing people. (laughs) That's not a real cockatrice, right? Yes, it is just a chicken in the costume. Just a chicken. You also see the... uh, Periton, the deer-headed giant eagle, flying overhead, occasionally dipping down, grabbing a cobalt, flying back up 30, 40 feet, and just dropping it every once in a while. Oh, boy, that's dangerous. He seems really angry. Okay. So Something tells me we're going to get blamed for this. That's the full information you have. I mean, I have a crossbow. Oh, you think? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, we made we made a big stink about freeing the creatures, and now they are running free. I mean, if anyone's <laughs> hungry, but, I have a crossbow. Just saying, hey, we were we were asleep in the tavern. People saw us run out of the tavern. Are they? Are there people running around? Um, there are lots of people running around, but none of them are actually like, oh, these are the people that are present. These are the people not. Um, we'll be on till about uh, nine thirty your time, Valium. And um, if you miss it, all of our shows are recorded. Yeah, so. we have them all on YouTube if you miss it. Oh, yeah, he comments on the YouTube. Yeah. The edited oh, ones yeah. are often better. <laughs> no, not surprising. <laughs> See you later, Thallium. We need, we need to do our intro either. Oh, I'll add yeah, that that's in. True. Right. in post. I have a lot of early editing to do, Can, so. It's <laughs> fine. It's fine. Um, do, do I have the story tomorrow? I'll pick it up when I... Basically, the... Adventurers just woke up after falling asleep after making the deal to chaos as the creatures within the uh, zoo were released, not by them. 
Um, you also saw with the 17 perception a whole bunch of macaws. Like okay. a stupid amount of macaws in one place. And it's not like Macaw. a mating season or anything weird like that. This is just too many stupid macaws in one place. Is, is one of them Macaulay Culkin? No. Please. So. I want a, I want a pet bird and name it that. You befriend it then. But. Okay. Um, as we go around, you're using minor illusion to try and distract the dinosaur. Yes. Go ahead and give me an arcana check. What does your illusion look like? Just flashing lights? Um, rainbow different colors that kind of just like go up and then spark like tiny miniature fire forks. All right. And 14, Plus arcana 16, and intelligence. 18. All right. Um, with that, the dinosaur is like, nah, I don't want anything to do with that right now. It seems to be going in the opposite direction. With an so 18? It, well, in 18, it is very effective. It did affect the dinosaur, and it is going the opposite direction. <sighs> okay, I stop doing the minor illusion and head off after the dinosaur. All right. Um, it's I like uh, using a uh, do 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 do, a whole bunch of bright lights with someone who has that um. After a night of drinking, that just obnoxious headache. Hung over? Thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Don't judge. Um, it's fine. It happens. So the dinosaur is effectively hung over, and you just used a whole bunch of bright lights in one eye. So it's like, I want nothing to do with that, and it's going the opposite direction. Towards the uh, edge of town. So it is away from people. I want to... How big is this dinosaur? He is standing about 12 to 15 feet tall. I would like to run up and try to jump on the dinosaur's back. Gently. Ugh. You were 60 feet away last turn, so you're going to begin running up to it. Um, yeah, you can dash this turn and go like full lizard hunter mode running through. And people run away from you in terror. Yeah, this thing that you're another really hunting lizard. the dinosaur's lizard. not going to love this. And... Uh, so you get up to the dinosaur this turn. All right. And I want to say, wait, wait, friend. I want to help you. Okay, give me diplomacy now. Charisma. That would be a 20. Mm. Okay. He pauses. But what are you doing at this point? I'm going to try to round up the other animals. Okay, uh, so you, the chicken is nearby. Yep. You go up to it and try to just grapple the chicken? Yes. Go ahead and give me a strength athletics check. Nice. Versus the chickens. Oops. Dexterity acrobatics. It's, this isn't good, kids. It's a five. Okay. The cocker trike sees you coming, and as you approach, it evades all dexterous she like. She used my crossbow. Gosh. There's chicken feed, you know, from Hey Hey. You could attract the chicken. I mean, and probably all the macaws. Could have also used a divine light or whatever that thing is to cast boiling goodness all over it. I mean, I'm, I'm going to fry chicken. I'm gonna I yelled at you asking if you, friends, or <laughs> if you need friends. Or if you need help, not friends. If you need help, because she seems to be, I mean, you seem to be handling the dinosaur. Kind of. All right, so I head back over that way to help you. Okay. So do you want to like kill them and eat them all, or are we just trying no, to catch no, them as pets? No, we're trying to round them up at this point. Right. Yeah. So oh, right. I take your idea and go get some of the bird feed and throw it down to try and entice the macaws and the chicken. Okay. Give me a animal handling check. <laughs> Not great. Um, three, and then I don't think I'm proficient in anything to do with that. All right. Um, also, give me a nature check. Nature. I can't wait to get a stream deck. So I can just hit buttons. I looked at the little six, but, six button just one. It's only $100. Plus, okay. Um, the macaws ignore you completely, and the chicken is too terrified about <laughs> people trying to capture it and running away from it. We're not Burton. What are we doing? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing your mom's on. We don't want to... Uh, Hi, Mom. <laughs> we're not going to talk about it. All right. So... <laughs> So uh, that didn't work. We at were all. talking electronics. I didn't think it would. Well, you were more like taking the season, like throwing it at them. You weren't being very like, "Hey, I'm a 
voice of reason here. Here, chicken, 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 chicken. About yes. to be executed. And the Where she meets Prince Charming. <laughs> Doesn't Belle do that with she birds? She does, yeah. And at this point in time, I would like you guys to roll initiative. Uh, I got a one. I'm not doing well with the dice here today. Yeah, it's not a good day for I have an um, eight. What's the uh, modifier for initiative? Dexterity. All right, so I rolled a uh, 13. Mm-hmm. 13, one, and eight. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's a convenient circle around the table. Do, do, do. Oh, no, your eye. Okay. You have to be really gentle with the eyes. The pattern did not have them anchored in well. That is okay. We'll be fine. All right. So on this particular turn, the giant deer-headed eagle comes swooping down in the middle of the games and whatnot, grabs another kobold individual and goes flying back up into the air. Not good. He takes a a giant bite out of the one side of the kobold, and the kobold screams. And uh, with the kobold screaming 20 feet in the air, the rest of the population just bolts for cover. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it's pretty terrifying. Now back to you. All right, so I don't. Yeah, I don't think we need these uh, animals for anything. The chicken's fine. I don't mind keeping the chicken around. But uh, do you guys care if I uh, shoot at the uh, the deer bird thing with a uh, crossbow? Not at I all. I mean, I am nowhere yeah, close. Yeah, you're not even by me, so you're not gonna you're not gonna care. Uh, so I could use guiding bolt, or I could use my breath. Fire weapon, which is only a cantrip. And what's the range of your breath? Don't know. Doesn't say. It's short. I believe it's only 30 feet. Yeah, my uh, guiding bolt's 120. That'll definitely get within range. Let's do that then. All right. And uh, what do I need to roll for that one? So uh, flash of light streaks toward a creature of your choice within range. Make a ranged spell attack against the target on a hit. The target takes 46 radiant damage, and the next attack roll made against this target before the end of your turn has advantage. All right. Go ahead and give me an attack roll at disadvantage just because it is dark. There is some cursory light just from the various festivities, but it's pretty hard to see. So go ahead and make a spell attack. Which is? I believe your um, spell attack number is on your character sheet. It's like your... This one? This 13? Uh, that's your DC. spell save DC. Um, so what's your wisdom modifier? My wisdom modifier is a three. Three plus two, your attack to uh, bonus to attack is five. Okay. So, so whatever you rolled, add five. 26. Six. Yeah, wasn't great. Okay. Um, you cast this spell. It rains this oily thing all over the cobalt, and he just screams in pain. You, okay. rolled, a t- you rolled a one. Mm-hmm. So you had a bad line of sight. You basically cast into the darkness, and it just, the cobalt is horrified. Whoopsies. And uh, let's you... see if the mayor saw that. Can okay. you real quick describe exactly what this creature looks like? It is a deer-headed giant eagle. Okay. Right. And how high That's up huge. is he in the air? At this point in time, he is 30 feet up in the air. Do you remember to pull okay. a picture of that for you? Um, so given your mm-hmm. distance away on the x-axis, he's. if you have a spell within the 60-foot range, you can hit it. What about the 30-foot range? You'd have to be directly under it. So you could like move this turn up to that range and then shoot straight up in the air. Okay. Can you cast something and move in the same turn? Yes. Okay. But it's not your turn yet. I, 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 yep. Yes. <laughs> I know. I just had questions. Okay. Oh, well, that's fine. Alicia, so John just nuked the cobalt. You're not sure if he's alive or not at this point. What do you do? Has the dinosaur stopped or just slowed down? The dinosaur has stopped and kind of dazedly kind of turned to gaze down at you. I have, I have something to help make you feel better. Can you follow me calmly? One more persuasion check. Yeah, good roll. Three. 
16. He replies in his bestial form, follow out. You get the idea of follow out of town. My friend in has the, the food. Um, you look at him and he's already covered in just random wounds around its thighs and whatnot from creatures just trying to get it out of the stalls and whatnot. Can I... He is not inclined to go back in. Can I, like... Uh, I say, wait, here? With your persuasion checks up to this point, um, you seem just kind of shift, but you recognize as, I can wait a bit. I will be right back. Give me one more persuasion check, just to see how long he's willing to wait. 13. Okay. He's waiting. What do you do? I'm going to run back to Gully. Okay. And it's probably going to take me a couple turns. I was going to send it to you. I'm going to send it to you. Well, if I, if I see Kevin with a bag, I'm going to assume yeah. that's what it is. So you get as close as you can within that time. Yep. Okay. So I am going to cast True Strike on the flying deer creature in the air. Okay. And also run so that I'm directly underneath him. Well, not, or like almost right underneath him so that I have a nice clear shot at him. Sure. And at the same time, um, give the bag of food that will make the dinosaur feel better to Kevin and ask him to fly it. All right. Given the fact that this is like food for an Allosaurus... Kevin's going to struggle. Yeah. Go ahead and give me a d20 roll to see how hard it is for this tiny sparrow frog. Ten. Okay. You give it to him. Kevin jumps off your shoulder and just immediately funks to the ground. Looks back up at you and goes. I thought we baked it into a little thing last I tried time. I my best. Didn't it's, we just bake well, it? Well, I think it's oh, still you? for a dinosaur. So. Oh, I thought you we did, made it into you? a little you thing last time. did bake it into a little thing. I thought it was like a giant slab of meat that was... Built no, that yeah. no, but nope. no, I remember the pie thing. The pie thing is much easier to carry. So it <laughs> takes that. It might still take him a little bit, but if she's running this way, I feel like that should help. Yeah, that's a, a lot bit. more reasonable. So uh, Kevin makes its way to you this turn. Okay. And uh, after that, it is back to its turn. It will simply drop the cobalt. Give me a dexterity saving throw, since you're directly underneath this guy. I, I, I changed it so I wasn't directly underneath, but anyway, 15. Okay. Uh, the cobalt ah, <laughs> slams directly next to you. He has various scars on its face from the boiling oil of his can trip. Sorry. <laughs> and uh, you look over the corpse of this cobalt up at the uh, front porch of the, are we good? Okay. It's the internet up there. It's not. Up to the front porch of the mayor's establishment. Yeah, it's and she's looking directly at you. I just look at her and be like, if you wanted to help, that would be cool. <laughs> so, um, do, do, do. He drops it. And then the periton will. Mm. Who will he go after? Well, no one has really shot at it yet. So he looks around for the nearest cobalt, who is 25 feet away, and you see him dive bomb this cobalt and fly back up. So he is now 25 feet over, 30 feet up. You could probably still get there. What's your movement? 
I'm trying to cast a certain feet. spell to jump onto him, and I have to be 30 feet, which is why I just use my turn to run up to him. Yeah, I know. It's just, just giving fine. you the idea. So he goes and dives yeah. on and grabs Switch. another cobalt. So, your turn. What do you do? I'm getting my email. Uh, I'm going to shoot at it with the crossbow. Okay. Five. Five. Is that another one? Hmm? What did you roll? I rolled a five. Okay. I mean, it's just a crossbow. Okay. Yeah. It goes into the darkness. You miss again. So, and the chicken is, now that it's not being chased by you, it's kind of looking side to side and coming up and just pecking at the seeds at this point. Alicia, what are you doing? I'm still running back as much as I can. Okay. So this turn, you grab the um, pie and come back with it. It's kind of in your mouth cavity. Wasn't it like in a bag that someone could put around my neck? <laughs> well, Kevin was carrying. He can't really articulate putting it around your neck. Great. <laughs> So that awkward situation happens. Or can I pick up the bag in my mouth? I don't want to put yes, the pie in my the bag mouth. In your Kevin, mouth. Oh, I could just like land on her. The pie was in my mouth. Kevin could, could literally just land on you in your shoulder holding it, and then you could run back. Yeah, that works too. All right. You become a frog mount. Okay. Just don't let the dinosaur eat my Kevin. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Are we good? We're fine. It's just okay. Twitch is having an issue. It's our internet's working fine. I'm getting email and everything else. So, mm. the internet's fine. It's whatever's going on between this and Twitch. It doesn't matter. We're recording, so it's okay. Like, we're fine. So you run back this turn. The dinosaurs like, where's the help? It seems Me? uneasy. I. Get, I, I said it's this pie will take the rest of the poison the bad man gave you out of your system. All right. I imagine you just drop that on the ground and he eats it and goes, thanks. And then you see him trying to leave still. <laughs> um, I mean... I'm, I would just let him go. Our goal was to free him. All, right. All I say after him is, please, I don't want you to get hurt, so please don't hurt any people. Uh, people. Give me a... I thought she was going to sing In to it. Teen. All right. He tries to get his way out. He says, I want nothing to do with these people. Quote, unquote. Go in peace. S Twitch, by the way. Mm -hmm. All right, well. Mm -hmm. So after your turn, it is now your turn. Okay. So am I 30 feet away from this creature? Not anymore. The, it's a flying creature. It moves. You can move underneath it if you... But that's my whole turn, so th this isn't going to work. if I, my, I'm spending my turn just chasing it. If you have a, I know. what spell are you trying to use? I have a jump spell, and I want to jump on its back and like be able to take control with its wings okay. and stab it. Go ahead and read the spell description, because that does things. Material, a grasshopper's hind leg. You touch a creature, the creature jumps distance is tripled until the spell ends. Okay. Why, uh, and it's an action to cast, right? Yes. Okay. Well, then what you can do is you can cast that spell now, and it lasts for Well, no, a while. I cast True Strike last time, so I have to do it this time. That's I cast True Strike on it last time, and then that would only last for this turn. True, uh, I can see where that is a hiccup, but Jump is a concentration spell, I believe. No, it's not. Uh, it's you can just cast Jump, and it sticks with you for one minute. 
So you can cast on yourself. You can just keep jumping like a cricket for a while. It's not just a one-time jump. Okay. So you can use that this turn. And then you can say, um, I ready an action to jump on the uh, um. deer bird as soon as it's within range. Mm -hmm. And then you will. Okay. Let's do that. I know that that's slightly out of order, but... It'll prevent I just, it from. I want to be on his back. Why the true strike spell is still working, and that's only I cast that last time, so it'll only work for this up to this one, is what it says. You could. That only lasts one round anyway. The other well, spell lasts. It said that you you cast it this round so that it'll work the follow the next round. That's what you right. said last time. Correct. Right. So. It's not going to be really beneficial to you this round because it moved out of the way. You can either attack with it this round, like use one of your spells to attack at a distance, or you can be like, bah, that's not helpful right now, and just cast jump this round so that you have it going forward. Okay. Um, I... Sure, so, I guess we'll just do jump this round then. Okay. I just I'm a little confused then how true strike works. If I have to cast it beforehand, so now I'm this time I can't use it. It's a because of the uh logistics of what you're trying to do with the action economy. So this will get you what you actually intend to do. You cast jump and if it's out of range, next turn you can use true strike if you want or you can just ready an action and whenever it's closer you can jump on its back. True Strike is mainly a like a sniper spell. It helps you take sight of something. Right. Well, that's why when I was trying to jump on his back with my dagger, the True Strike is so that the dagger will hit, so that like when I'm on his back, that's what I'm trying to okay. say. Okay. Well, you, in terms of stabbing it, that would have been not as helpful because you're not within melee range with it. You would have had to cast a, the action spell of jump to get close to it, and then you wouldn't have had your action to stab it anyway. Because jump takes an action to cast. I thought you just said it's not an action, it's a transmutation. No, no, it's one action to cast. Okay. Sorry. So you cast jump, now you can jump at it. Sure. That, okay. Let's do that. That's great. Okay. So, now it's back to this creature's turn. It has picked up the creature and is flying overhead and drops it again. This time it's hitting nothing. Most of the people have escaped inside at this point. Your tavern is... Mildly overrun. People are, are looking out the windows and whatnot. It's pretty desolate. The mayor's looking from the front porch, just glaring at the three of you, knowing that you guys did something. Hey, I'm not in glare range. <laughs> or a person. That's fair. It's not looking at you. It's mildly confused why more creatures are here than before. But he will fly overhead looking for more kobolds at this round. They're not out and about and is looking to take aim at a new target. What do you do? I'm going to fire my crossbow again. Okay. For the love of Christ. Now remember, Third you have disadvantage, so roll twice and take the lower number. Nine. Okay. But you miss terribly. God damn this guy. Alicia. Me? Um, I, do I make it back to town this turn? Yes. You can move underneath and be perfectly fine. Do I still have any You're thing left? You're still a dinosaur. You like, move a little bit into town. You are... I would like to try to start herding animals. The animals that are currently free of the zoo collection... Uh, you see a blink dog that's currently blinking between rooftops right now, just trying to get away from everything, staying out of line of sight of the big bird creature. The crawling hand is still in its box where it was left. I want to try to get the big creature's attention to pick me up. Okay. And I would like to, if possible... Can I 
Can I activate Cloud of Spores so that if it picks me up, it gets hit with the necrotic damage? Like It is a reaction. So, so you can just use that if it gets close right. to you. And you're trying to look... I, like, poof up my thing, and I'm, like, doop, prancing. Okay, give me a <laughs> charisma check, straight. I like how I keep trying to do things with charisma, and that <laughs> is my lowest stat. It's what That's what you do. Awesome. That would be a six. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Looks at you, it's like, that is one dumb lizard. <laughs> um, Meg. It seems to be looking for an easy enough target to eat. Okay, or how far away with. is it at this point? At this point, it is 30 feet up, because that seems to be a safe distance for it, and about 10 feet to get directly underneath it. Okay, well, I believe at this point I would still be jumping, so I'm just trying to jump onto his back at this point. Okay. Go ahead and give me a acrobatics check. Okay. Dexterity acrobatics. 15. I don't think I'm oh, proficient gosh. in anything for that. You, well, it's also dexterity, so and I believe you have a good dex. Um, where did it go? Where's my dexterity? It's the second one. 13 plus one, so, so one. Uh, 16. Okay. So the two other ones there see this no do this like parkour nonsense jumping on a barrel jumping on the top of a building and just somersaulting on top of this very angry antlered bird okay. and, and it just I can't looks... do anything else because you're saying that's my action right no 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 you ca it's an action to cast a spell okay. now that's active you can just do your normal stuff okay. so what do you so want now to... I'm on his back and holding on with one hand, and I just stab it with my dagger that I'm proficient in. Go right for Right in the back of the neck here. Okay, make a stab. Um, oh, wait, am I attack? Is Do I roll the d20? Is that right? Yes, roll the okay, d20. Okay, so 13. 13 barely hits. This thing is covered in feathers, and as you dig into it, you are able to strike it. Nice. So go ahead and roll your damage, which is the 1d4, d4? plus 4. Is that? No. It's this one, right? It's the one, right? one. Yep. yep. Ooh, four. Four. So Plus five damage. Plus five. So. Oh, sorry. It is very annoyed you're there. Great. And that definitely gave it the attention you wanted. So um, it looks up at you with a weird intelligence in its eyes. Can it see me? If I'm on I'm on the back holding on to the feather, so like if it's turning its head, can it turn all the way around to look at me like an no, owl? No, but it does have a massive amount of antlers, Fair. and it will just rear back trying to scrape you off. Fair. So it will attempt to do that. It has disadvantage because it can't... It missed. Great. And so this uh, antlered creature just is screeching Whoa, in this unearthly, unpleasant screech. And it's just trying to get this crazy gnome off of its back. And as it's flailing around, give me a dexterity saving throw. It's not hard to maintain your grip. Um, five. Okay. <laughs> um, you are losing your grip, and you're pretty sure you're about to fall off. Okay. Okay. Is that the end of my turn for that um, turn? Or? That's the end of its turn. Okay. At the beginning of your turn, I'll give you one more saving throw to see whether or not you fall or catch it, and you have to let go of the dagger or something. Okay. So you. You see your employee now <laughs> on the back of this creature who is now really angry and bucking Gully like Gully gets it done! Yeah, so I can't fire my crossbow. <laughs> Gully gets it done. So I can't fire my crossbow because I'm going to... Risk hitting Gully. <laughs> At this, with your rolls right now, it's not looking good. Yeah. Um, what do you do? I don't know. I'm thinking about aiming at the big animal and then quickly firing at the mayor's eye. Yes. Seeing if I could just take her out. <laughs> no one else is around right this now. would be oddly satisfying because <laughs> everyone's paying attention to what's going on in the air. That's true. There and is also, a lot of attention going And also, you've been shooting your crossbow. Like, you've just been yeah. missing, so it could have been a total mistake. Just an accident. All right. So, so you want to take a shot at the mayor. I'm going to take a shot at the but mayor. A stealthy shot at the mayor, yeah. yes. First things first, make an attack roll. This one is without disadvantage, so yay. 
a two. <laughs> I am rolling the worst today. I have started doing better when I took one of her die. Do you want to try mine? No. Just get another I just one. ordered new dice. Also, I ordered blood spattered dice. <gasps> I need new dice. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Oh. Make a deception check dice. with Those the disadvantage. Uh, with advantage. Yeah, Meg. Okay. I showed Meg your nice dice. I want dice with little flowers inside. Oh, you can get those. Look at Etsy. 14? Oh. All right. Since all the attention is drawn up there, you know, like quickly go, and because you weren't really looking, and this was kind of like a, this is my plan, that did not work. <laughs> you hit the building near her. God damn it. It hits the wall, vibrates. She kind of looks up at it. It's like, well, no, she doesn't even notice that given the commotion going on in the writing ball. So you didn't even draw anyone's attention. All right. Um, you also have spells that invoke saving throws, so you don't have to roll anything <laughs> if yeah. you want to use those. Alicia, what do you do? So this this thing is not paying attention to me at all, right? No. It's very perturbed about the weird gnome on its back. She drew aggro very well. <laughs> <laughs> I, um... I'm sorry. Is it an action to shift? It's an action to shift, right? Um, I'm not sure. I know it's an action to go into the form. I believe it's a bonus action to drop out. A, B, C. Transforming one action. Reverting bonus action. Bonus action. Bonus action. Bonus action. Oh, I took your Oh, yeah. So I use my bonus action to revert and then I am going to cast fairy fire on oh, it. Oh, okay. And that's a saving throw, right? Ooh, no, read the spell. It might hit um, Meg as well. Lovely. Each object in a 20-foot cube within range is outlined in blue, green, that's or violet somewhere. light. Any creature in the area when the spell is cast is also without line light if it falls a dexterity saving throw. Meg, roll a dexterity saving throw. Which one is it? The D4? Um, it's a D20. Oh, and D20. then you add your... Dexterity. Yes. Um, I got a three. Oh, no. So I'm going to die. I mean, it doesn't hurt you. It just makes you easier You're to hit. You're glowing. Just so everyone can see my dice. And uh, so is the <gasps> giant bird. Those are that so is cool. That is they were seven dollars. I yeah. really like That's these cool. yellow ones, but would you be offended if I ordered fancy dice no, fine. and be, could mix um, in between do you, them? You you okay. don't understand how. So you know the big Crown Royal bags. Yes. Caleb has two of those full of dice. Nice. If you and then to use a different set every time we play. has a noticed, junk drawer dice <laughs> container. Um, I saw. I heard that you're making some out of your child's baby teeth. Yes, I am. And I think that's baller. Thank you. you know. That's awesome. Yeah, we had to explain to Charlotte why the Tooth Fairy doesn't come to our house before Klaus told her that <laughs> the Tooth Fairy didn't exist. Of course he did. Because he already told her Santa that Santa doesn't, doesn't exist. exist. That's amazing. Uh, our kid's a jerk sometimes. He really is. But that's Anyway, so you cast Fairy Fire and are in your druidic state. And now I would like to glowing. think that, like, the, f the... Wait, I have some flavor text. Sorry. I would like to think that because my hair is colorful, it like glows as I cast fairy fire in the colors. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, that's my that's my headcanon. So now you have like all these sparkling flashes going and star form goes and attacks it. Great. Nice Kibber stare attack at it. I like it. In a least offensive oh, kind of way. It's really cool. I was thinking more like <laughs> Sailor Moon, less Care Bear stare. Sailor Moon works. I think Care Bear stare is delightful. <laughs> And uh, now everyone has advantage to attack this thing, right? And it technically it has advantage on Attacking on me. Meg. Great, but I mean he can't see her. Correct. So it doesn't really make sense well, that we'll it would see get. What happens, Meg? You're about to slip off. For you, Meg. Do you yes. drop your dagger and attempt to grab onto it, or do you just fall? Well, I have. So stepping out for a second, if I was to cast feather fall, like if I just let go and cast feather fall, I would not have any damage as I fall down, correct? correct. And 
because True Strike is a cantrip, I can use my other spell, spell slot, correct? Yeah. Okay. So this turn, well, like in between turns, before your turn even shows up, you can cast Feather Fall and Drop. Okay. And that uses one of your three spell slots, and then your turn can come up, and now you can do basically whatever. Okay. Um, actually, I'm not going to do that. Okay. I'm just, you said if I drop the dagger, I can regain my hold. Yes. I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to cast Burning Hands on his back. That's cool. <laughs> Give me um, a strength athletics check just to hold on. It's sure. very low. Or you okay. can make a dexterity saving throw if you prefer. Um, I, my strength is, is, nothing. is nothing. So dexterity saving throw. So dexterity saving throw. 82 yeah. degrees in here. So, so warm in here. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have yeah. to cut this one short today, but that's all right. Um, which one is it that I'm doing again here? Or at least open the door uh, and risk Dick's it. Here. So roll oh, the doesn't matter. round one. I mean, it's the one that's in the tray. Cooler oh, the, the door D20, open. I'm yes. sorry. And then can I, if I give this back to you, can I get to roll twice and take the highest one? Roll it first, and then you can hand that to me if you don't like the result. Oh, no, I got a 19. So with one, I got a 20. Okay. So you grab on, get a good grip, and then you use burning hands. And, and I'm just trying to like push my hands into his back at this point. And it's a dexterity saving throw, right? Yes. I'm going to give it disadvantage just given how close you are to this thing. All right. It fails, so you just see fire erupt on this thing's back. It screams. Oh, when you cast the spell using a spell slot of second level or higher, the damage increases by 1d6 for each slot level above first. You don't have to worry about that since nice. you only have first level spells. So how much damage do you do? Oh, I thought we were second level now. We are, but the spells aren't. Oh, darn it. That's annoying. <laughs> what the hell? Yep. <laughs> it's a complication. That's fair. Okay, continue. I'm sorry. So how much damage do you do? You roast him. Uh, um, oh, like on here? Yes, on oh. Burning Hands, it tells you how much damage you deal if it fails. Um, a creature takes 3d6 fire damage on a failed okay. save or half as much damage on a successful one. So you roll the cube three times. Where's the cube? Oh, here. Two, two, five. Okay, you deal nine points of damage to this poor guy. Um, so he is in. While this is happening, I just scream at the top of my lungs, vote for Golly! <laughs> <laughs> Give me a charisma ch uh, persuasion check. Um, it'll be 13. Or no, 14. It's just plus 2 and then 2. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. I can do math. I can do math. It's fine. Very cool. And uh, now it goes back to its turn. It will might not get its turn because now that's brightly lit everything is very well illuminated up there you're putting on this nice show you hear a twang from near the docks as this ballistia bolt comes streaking towards oh guys i'm gonna monster. die <laughs> and they have advantage because alicia provided that great the ballistia bolt strikes the periton and deals a crap ton of damage. So after you say, vote for gu Gully, it erupts into feathers as the creature is just blown apart by this ballistia bolt. And you are about to fall a good distance. Can I now cast Feather Fall? Yes. <laughs> Lovely. And that is your second first level spell that you've used. So you My third. Right? Okay. Oh, no, True Strike's a cantrip. Correct. No, so Jump, Burning Hands, Feather Fall. That's all of mine. Okay. So you slowly glide down, and after the periton blows apart, uh, Ruloth, the mayor, says, Vote for me. And I just spit out feathers at her. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, you immediately realize that the Ballistia, which is generally positioned to shoot at um, pirates who come into the bay that never show up, was realigned to shoot at this creature, which was impossible until she lit it up. And with a bright fire up. erupting from its back, it just made it even easier to pinpoint the creature. So at this point in time, combat has dropped. And uh, what do you do? 
I think we need to regroup and go figure out the who fired the the missile at the bird. Well, Rula approaches you guys in the chaos that has occurred, realizing that the dinosaur is gone and the periton is dead. Um, various merchants are coming out trying to salvage what's going on. And the mayor is just slowly walking up towards the three of you. And uh, she goes, why did you do this? Why did we save the town? Because you weren't doing anything. Didn't Why want did to you wrinkle free your the pants. animals? We didn't free, free the animals. animals. You literally were yelling about this all yeah, yesterday. Yeah, and we're smart enough to be more stealthy. If we were yelling about it yesterday, we weren't just going to let them loose on the town. Especially without a full rest. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a something we would say, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you. <laughs> I need my sleep. All I'm saying is that we're smarter than that. And clearly, we were not the ones who did this. And we should be more concerned with who did. And we would have done this better. Yeah. We would have made sure nobody got hurt. Give me a persuasion check. All of us? I got a 17, yeah. 18, 19, 20, 21. 21. It wasn't me. I got a 13. No, I got a 9. Why would I risk my life to jump on this thing (laughs) if I was the one who set it free? To look good. I don't need to do that. To look good. I got a 13. You have a 13. All right. And um, you haven't said anything yet. But she goes, it doesn't matter what you did. This is what you promised you would do, and this is the result of what happened. I think you did it. She did it to try and make us look bad. Too bad we saved the town. I have an alibi. I've Something only a guilty person would say. I have an alibi. Nobody jumps to that. That's like one of those people where someone's still missing, and and then the other person refers to them as dead. That's what this is. Who did it? Or what? Is that a threat? And retrieve the animals. Are you threatening us? Why would we retrieve the animals? Because... Everyone inclu- everyone's going to believe you did it. I think. Can we um, have a quick sidebar here? Yeah. Can we just take out the mayor? First of all, we need to just take out the mayor. Second of all, yeah. she's the one saying that everybody, no one's going to believe us. When, like, bring it to the people. I'm over Let's it. let them see. I have an alibi. Hey, hey, saw me. Yeah. Hey, it's a chicken. <laughs> Gully can will vouch for us. <laughs> Gully can talk to hey, hey. Yeah. Um, I'm just saying that... The mayor just needs to die <laughs> at this point. Can we? Yeah, let's, let's just, just take her out. Is anyone else it. around right now? Everyone's around right That's all right. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Let's, let's ask the people. I Ask the people, who do you think let the animals free? Why would we risk our lives trying to catch all of them if Look, we were the ones who I'm did it? I'm just saying. The we rely that on... that runs the zoo comes out wearing his like white Scrooge tunic and his nightcap looks at all of you and goes, I thought we had an arrangement. Also, another great point. Why would we risk our arrangement? Agreed. Yeah. We um, I was business looking people very excited that. to the safari. The mayor steps between you and him and goes, they've agreed to reallo- retrieve no. the no. animals. No, we no. haven't. No, we no. haven't. No, no, no. Mayor. no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> that was fast. God. Not doing it. Look. We didn't do it. Fine. Who did then? Because you seem awfully guilty to me. It is not our job to do that. You are the mayor. It is literally your job to keep the town safe and figure out things like that. And so far, we've done everything. We have a couple different choices. Either Kill I you. can Kill pay him back mayor. for his lost property, since it did happen in town. I can increase your taxes due would, to the cost caused to the establishment. She's gonna die. Uh, are all the voters listening to how she's going to increase taxes? Oh, did I say to the rest of the community? Just to, to Holy Hops Tavern. That doesn't seem legal. Oh, that's awful. Die. 
Well, I'm not You're gonna pro die. imprisoning You're gonna my die. citizenry. I believe in a redemption arc. As far as I'm aware, you guys are clearly guilty. I'm gonna kill her. Wait, wait. Other than this circumstantial evidence where you heard us talk about how we wanted to protect the animals, which is clearly not what happened here. You have zero proof that we were anywhere near that enclosure. Mostly because we were inside sleeping. Yeah. Do you I notice mean, my pajamas? I've got curly hair. Clearly, if we're in pajamas, my hair is like Says the individual insane. who approached the dinosaur in a lizard-like form. Who says you didn't slip out in the middle of the night? That's a really hard lizard, to trust the shapeshifter. Do lizards have opposable True. thumbs? And I can only do that twice a day. And I did it once earlier when I became a snake to try to pet the cat. So this was my second time and people saw me transform into a lizard. So it can't be done. You have no proof. Mr. Grilgapa, besides our current company, do you believe anyone else had a motive to free your animals? No. Okay, but once again, I'm going to go back to the we wanted to protect the animals, and one of them's dead, and one of them ran into the forest. That's not protecting the animals. Their lives are in danger. So we didn't actually do what you're accusing us of saying of wanting to do earlier. We did the opposite, which would be pretty messed up. Can we just walk away? What is she going to do if Give we don't... Give me a charisma check for oh, this argument God. right now versus her charisma check. I rolled a two. This is why I roll out of the open. <laughs> so what did you roll? Meg, roll your charisma check. Please roll well. Um, 19 yes. plus I'm proficient oh. in it. Oh, so, no, this oh. is just a straight oh. charisma roll. Then just 19. 19? No, Good. Don't, doesn't she get to add her charisma modifier? Yes, her, oh, her then charisma modifier. That would be 21. Okay. Or do I add like the two and then the two or just the two? Here, hold on. I can bring it up. Because... Um, not a proficiency check, just your modifier. Just my charisma. Got it. I'm sorry. Yeah. That was my fault. Um, charisma is plus two. Yeah, so I'd be at 21. Okay. So 21. What did you get? Six. Six. Four. And nothing. All right. So as you, the mayor, and the zookeeper are having this argument, the rest of the various... Uh, Performers and whatnot who run the various stalls have come out. They all are angry at their destroyed property. And they're all just kind of, what now? And as this heated discussion continues, it's very apparent that they're not sure at this point who to trust. It's very... 50-50, whether or not they believe you guys actually caused this or if they just got out or some other way. The mayor goes, if you guys aren't willing to fix the problem, which we clearly believe you caused, what's the alternative? You, you fix can it. hire you us to fix it. Die, bitch. Yes, if you want to pay us to go collect the animals, by all means. But there is no way I'm going to admit to something I didn't do and just go away from our tavern that we have to run and lose money that way to go collect animals for someone who is literally drugging and hurting his animals in the first place. Well, if it wasn't you, let's quickly have a look at the um, his zoo. Maybe we can find some evidence of your malfeasance. Sure. You guys quickly make your way over to... Um, Grill Gapa's Beast of Fancy. And there's a couple different things that you see. The Can I make an investigation check? Yes. Are we all supposed to do this? Is this a perception mm, check? Or? 17. Okay. Um, it wasn't an accident. The rope doesn't show that it was pulled out at the stake for the dinosaur. It looks like the rope was untied. 
the stake wasn't pulled out that held the Allosaurus there. Also, the jar holding the um, pebbles that moved was shattered. The Periton cage, the lock is broken open like someone took a cudgel to it. Or someone put enough pressure in it that it just popped. Well, so it all of us have very weak strength, so. Like it was forced open. I mean, you do not see any footprints of any kind of, that are humanoid that uh, was here recently. Given the uh, undergrowth and whatnot in the jungle-ish atmosphere, generally the wear of footprints goes away ra rather quickly. So the fact that there's no footprints there is a little unusual. And the mayor's looking around going, this is odd. What do you say? I'm just saying that none of us could have broken that lock like that. Unless they could transform into a stronger form and leave no humanoid tracks. I already told you I would have done this closer to dawn when I could have gotten a good night's sleep because I'm tired and I only had it in me to do it one more time. Yeah, but you can't transform into anything that would. Yeah, and I can't transform into anything that's strong. I have power to do that. Why don't you I? just tell us, tell us what you think happened, Mayor, and then we can prove how it couldn't have been us because that's how the judicial system works. I think the shapeshifter wandered into camps. And she she's can the only, only shapeshift a certain... Okay, so they're right there. She can only do that a certain amount of times a day. And only into smaller creatures. Yeah. And yeah. That's not true. What do you... I thought you, you could only do it... small creatures. Or medium, so... I have to be a CR one-fourth. That's like panther strength. Panthers don't have opposable thumbs. She's making the argument, not for you, but for other people. But you already said that we didn't get a rest in. So I wouldn't have regained. A, so I'm you saying. You had a short I rest, which is enough for just the shape change that you had. You said did you do this? You did do a shape change. So I can do a shape change, change twice, and I did one early in the day. That's what I'm saying. Pippin, did you take Ambien and go out and open up the cages? <laughs> Anybody got no. some truth serum? It's fine if you did. I mean, there's a still war if gully paraphernalia. You claim in my to be room. the hero of this community. I do not claim to be the hero. I claim that you're the villain. That does not make me the hero. You wow. just suck. There you go. <laughs> Which one of us actually killed the beast? You mean the beast that was oh, so literally trying to kill people? Sorry. Yeah, I did that. That doesn't make me a villain. That makes me willing to step up when I need to. I made sure that the bolts were manned, and we blew it apart. Are you trying to say we worked together? I'm um, glad you didn't wrinkle your pantsuit during it. Ooh. Oh, hey. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> She's so is, starving. You're a lot of flash and no substance. Kim said to get someone else to talk to the animals. <laughs> There you go. There's no one else that could talk to animals. I could talk to animals. Yeah, but then they're not by his witness. Nobody else in this town. Yeah. Look. Yes, yeah, nobody else in this town a shapeshifter. No. I'm not a shapeshifter. <laughs> not really. Can we talk about how the mayor just said I'm no substance, all flash? Yeah, that was mean. If you want to show that you are actually beneficial to the community, and if it's not you, then you can provide information that it's not you. Okay. Oh, that's nice. I would just like Thank to point you. out that you say we've done nothing beneficial to the community, but yet the past month, every single week, we seem to be saving the community as to where you're just standing there telling us to go do it. I haven't seen anything that you've done, and I think you did this to try and make us look bad. Excuse me. Um, Mr. Rupert? Yes. Where have I been? You've been having dinner, guess. 
with Who's this guy? Such and such, such and such and such. I'm sorry. It, you explained that it's the middle of the night. We had people at our tavern until way late in the night. We actually had an open mic night. We had multiple people there. So really if your karaoke? alibi yeah. is that you were having dinner, we have many people who saw us have dinner. In fact, we invited you to dinner. Yeah, we twice, did. actually. Yeah, you declined. Where were you? Yeah. Like I said. Also, I would like to point out I rolled a 21 on the whole persuasion as the crowd thing. So if, she, if oh, you're trying to get great. the crowd here. <laughs> oh. And you rolled a four. So. Crucify her. Oh, sorry. Kill the man. No, it's a small village. That's part of the reason why I wanted them to be the Are you addressing your mother's question? Yes. Because that just seemed to come out of nowhere unless sorry. you were reading a chat. Hello, mother. <laughs> um, it's a small village. That Keep is down, literally Archie. the only druid and literally the only wizard in town right now. The mayor basically retains order and prevents these kind of problems from occurring by using said cross uh, ballista to handle major threats. I, I, have, a, I have a meta question. <laughs> sure. Okay? So other than Thanks. our tavern, are there other, like... How many other places of business are there? Like, are we one of the busier places? Do the bigger establishments, there's a trade port, which kind of buys locally and then puts those trade goods on ships to external places. Um, the trading house is a warehouse, and that is probably the biggest business in um, Prison Bay. There are also um, a few just craftsmen who use local. Do, do, do. Yes, it will be. Um, there's also a few craftsmen that use local materials that stay in Prison Bay just for like the floating rocks. They make little statuettes and stuff. But yeah, so like not... how much, how much economic power? do we have? Ooh. Given your beer is one of the major exports of the little village, reasonably. So, You're not the biggest. But I want to know what kind of clout. Three, we, for I, sure. I'm sorry, this is But like, what kind of clout? Seemingly, we easily do good for anyone who asks. So why would, like, wouldn't the townspeople, like... We have our regulars who come and talk to us every day, yeah. things like that. I'm literally three feet high. Yep. Like, I feel as though we would be, most people would have positive reactions to us. Oh, yeah, they have a positive reaction to so, you, like, but they also kind of believe they would free animals. Fair. But, I mean, <laughs> that's fair. I, I can't argue with that. Especially just going after back yesterday. To, I just but think I, that back, the people back. would understand that if we were going to do this, we would we have done it better. have messed it up like this. If we had done this, <laughs> you wouldn't have noticed that it happened until way later. Really wish I would have killed the Marilyn. Yep, that would have been great. Too bad you rolled a two. I challenge you to a duel. Just kidding. But also, that would be funny. One of you are mildly stronger. You should challenge the mayor to a duel to the death. So. I'm just saying, if we messed up, we would have owned up to it and happily cleaned up the mess. Especially if all you're asking us to do is clean up the mess, which I don't even have a problem helping you clean up the mess. I'm just asking for the courtesy that you believe us when we have done nothing except try to help this town. The truth Ooh, is important. That combo to that 21 earlier does a lot for the sway of the five. group, the people around. And then the mayor looks actually put back. She's not being attacked, and it's not this political battle. Warping. It is a decency argument. And then the mayor seems blustered at that. I say, you know what? And I'll help you save face, save face, mayor. I will not admit to doing this. However, I will help clean up this mess from whoever made it. Because that's what a decent citizen does, is works together for the good of the community. And that's all we try to be, is decent citizens. And then a fly landed on her head. 
on on the mare's head. <laughs> um, sorry, but did you guys see the Joe Biden fly swatter that's now available? Oh, yeah, that's Came out a good idea. That's a great idea. Which one? Talk to the animals to see who freed them. Yeah. I mean, no one else is going <laughs> to... No one else has done that. Well, no one else is going to believe us, no matter oh, what right. happens. What if we say to the mayor, like... Well, we can still find out from the animals yeah. who freed them. Yeah. This is our... Call them a call, this call is where we live, to. Yeah, there we go. This is where we live, too. I don't want to fight with you all the time, which is why we invited you to dinner yesterday. We're trying to smooth things over. Or kill you. Okay. Well, don't tell her that part. But like, I, you know, I imagine I that was a uh, oh. out of character yeah. moment. Yeah. Um, and therefore, why don't we work together? I can talk to one of the animals and let's see who freed them. You see her immediately shift gears and she goes, we are a small community and we should be supporting our neighbors. I apologize for assuming that you guys had acted on the words that you said yesterday. I smile the biggest, sweetest smile and say, well, thank you for your apology. If you guys are willing to help the community, I am more than willing to provide whatever assets is deemed reasonable to help make sure the safety of this place is maintained and our visitor from another place receives recompense for the wrongs done to him. I say well, under my pay for breath. also hurting his animals. Again, <laughs> animals are property. Just in the future, I would like you to vet the vendors better. And under my breath, I, I say... I did and know about the current circumstances. He was protecting the children with reasonable force. I under... Under my breath, as I've been trying to say, just go, your resignation letter would be the biggest asset you could hand us. <laughs> Ooh. Anyway, <laughs> so Nick, they gotta talk to please the now. Yeah. find out what you can. Well, I assume you'd want to be there. Or be square. Well, I imagine you will be doing your own investigation. We're going to go talk to the animals right now. You dum, just dum. like, okay. She just spent so much time. She goes over and talks to <laughs> She's all her. talk. I'll talk. One I'll talk. hand, and he gets handed a small purse of money to, uh, Ruloth hands a small purse of money over to the handman, and uh, he goes wandering off. Um, we will also be conducting an investigation to make sure that things are done with fairness. So, she then goes back and addresses the community. Please have a good night's rest. We will clean up tomorrow and hopefully all this will be resolved. I'm sorry, this seems very silly to me. Literally, we're about to go talk to the animals who found out who did this and you're just going to tell everybody to go home? Someone here committed the crime. She's I, talking to crazy the... crazy here? She's talking to the people. One of them clearly cut it. There's a lot of people who were woken up. So she's just trying to get just, people to relax, have I a good night's sleep. I just feel like most people tomorrow, would be we'll like, rest. okay, let's find out who did it now. Let's At talk to the animals midnight. so we can go to bed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we go talk to the animals. All right. There's still a few ones that are in cages. There is the crawling hand. The tressum is still in its cage. The weird fish creature is still shackled and tied up. And he is completely terrified. He is up against one side of the cage just shaking. There are still flying frogs in the one bird cage, and uh, the puppy is free. It looks like his particular cage was knocked over when the Allosaurus was released, and that's what freed him. So I, I want to try to pet the blink dog. Give me an animal handling check as you approach the blink dog. While she does that, I'm going to turn into Kevin. And fly over. So I, oh, wait, I don't have to turn to Kevin. I can just talk to animals regularly. That's I'm a, sorry. That's mm -hmm. a three. A three. The bleeding dog is terrified of you and blinks away. I sit down. Just like this. Hi, Archie. Archie. <gasps> Archie. Um, they were just accused by the mayor. Uh, oh, animals were released. 
by somebody. The mayor blamed the group. They did amazing rebuttals. And, uh, and the mayor is giving them a, a chance to redeem themselves. Sure. And uh, she's conducting a side investigation. They are now questioning the still captured animals to see what they know. We also set a deer hawk creature on fire. Before it was blown apart by a ballistic bolt. Yes. There you go. All right. Onwards so, and upwards. You talk to the frogs. Yes, if they're right there. <laughs> I ask them, I say, hey, friends, can any of you tell me what happened here tonight? Uh, uh, lizard freed. The lizard freed. Do you know who did that? Macaws. Macaws. Macaulay Culkin did it. The macaws. Macaulay. The, the birds? Ma the birds did it? Macaws. Ron did. Rope untied. <laughs> Macaw got near cage. Lock broke. Did someone shapeshift into a macaw? Did the macaws just have reason to do this? How smart are the birds? Can I talk to the macaws? Birds are smart. I decide that I'm going to try the whole bird food, bird food thing the again. The macaws have... Give me a uh, perception check. Eight. Archie, we also tried to kill the mayor, but I missed. <laughs> and she didn't see it. Thank God. Yeah, they really hate the mayor. <laughs> She's evil. She's not Can, evil. <laughs> Did you tell me you were looking for the macaws? Can I do a perception check for them? Sure, you can yes. make a quick look. That's so much better. And what are you doing? I am, uh... So you can't talk to any of the animals. I got animals. an eight. So yeah, I'm just I hanging I can't out. talk to any of the animals either right now. I'm cleaning up in front of the inn. Just and to as make sure all is well. far uh, as Pippin knows, she can't shapeshift again. <laughs> I'm going to go help clean up. I'm going to wander off. Okay. Check my check my plants. <laughs> mm. All right, so you take your plants and give me a uh, perception check as you just are looking. I, I got an eight. I nope. already did one. Cool. So you are talking to them about the macaws. You do not see a macaw nearby. They were everywhere earlier in like a stupid weird drove. And uh, now weird. the flock is gone. It's very weird. Mm -hmm. I go to find you and ask you if you know, since you seem to be the nature person, if you know how I could attract the macaws back. Do I have, I look around my plant bed thinking, trying to see if I have any flowers that I could make bloom that would like be an attractive smell to the macaws. Like do macaws have that? I know they're not hummingbirds. Give me but. a nature check to see if you can think of any lure for a macaw. Well, uh, that would oh yeah. be That'll work, Alicia. A twenty-one. Twenty-one. They Wait. aren't flower people. They're That's a twenty-three. A, okay. Well, you know that they are fruit people. Well, do I have any fruit trees that I could like? Yeah, there's plenty of fruit trees. It's a tropical island. So, mm. so like, can I like make a fruit, use drug craft to make a fruit like ripen to that point where it smells really good? You also know that macaws are um, not nocturnal. Yeah, it's nighttime. Well, would I know what kind of trees they like to roost in? They like, um, I mean, I feel like with a 23, yeah, can, I'm going to know a lot about macaws. You can, you know they generally like roost in palm trees and whatnot, so you could probably hunt one down and try to wake it up, I guess. Fine. Maybe we should go to bed and wait till tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, we're, we might. We might I'm going to go issues. hunt for a macaw real fast. Okay. All right. So you go off. Do I go have a beer with that? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Give me a. Uh, you should come with me. I can't talk to them. Oh, fine. I go with her. Go ahead and give me a. a smoke uh, weed. Either a survival or a nature check, whichever one's higher for you. I got a 20. They're actually the oh, same and for I'm me. proficient in nature, I think. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to eat some mushrooms and go visit the universe. <laughs> Find I out got some a deeper 15. 15. Um, yeah, macaws are common. Yes. So you find uh, one probably 
50, uh, 50 feet away from the edge of town. Just I, roosting and hasn't woken up yet. I say, I'm so sorry to wake you up, friend. Would you like some fruit? Give me a uh, animal handling check with advantage. A charisma animal handling. 14 with charisma, you said? Yes. Or, so that would be 16. Charisma. I don't have okay. animal handling. You can do advantage. So roll it animal. twice and take the bigger number. Oh, 16, gosh. 18. Okay, the bird like startles away because like, mango. <laughs> Love mangoes. Great mango. choice. Yeah. Good, good morning. Morning. Good morning. Um, Hi. Did you happen to see what was going on earlier when the dinosaur was freed? Oh, yes. Do you know who freed the dinosaur? Uh, rock. Who's rock? Rock. Rocks. Rocks. You freed the dinosaur with rocks? No. Rocks. I convey what's <laughs> happening in this conversation to you and ask for if you have an idea of where you should go with that. Ask, Were rocks used or is this a creature ask named them if, rocks? Ask, ask the McCall if they can take us to the rocks. Can you show us where the rocks are? I will give you more mango. Mango first. Mm. How about some mango now and then the other rest of the mango afterwards? Yes. Okay. I give you some mango. <laughs> oh, what a good little bird. It likes that. Would you like to be our friend forever? <laughs> mango? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a menagerie. <laughs> what's your so name? Wait, animals. what's your name? <laughs> would, you, would you like your name to be Mango? Do you have a name? How about Monty? Uh, Rock's name. Your name is Rock's? No. Rock's name. The Rock's name you? I'm so lost yes. here. Rock's name me Red. Is what's is up, Rock's Red? Is Rock's a person? Red. I don't know. Is, that's what I asked. I said, is Rock's a person? And he said, Rock's is Rock's. <laughs> Rocks. Does, is, let's go get the, say, does go rocks get the boss rocks. man. He's now I am in tuning with nature. Tripping my balls off. <laughs> and <laughs> I explain to you that we now have this mango loving bird named Red, and we're gonna go meet some rocks. And I, you're into it. I need it, about four hours. And he's a blue macaw. Yeah. <laughs> a blue macaw. Great. <laughs> I am seeing interesting things in the universe. <laughs> That's his cat's name. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. Mango have you or read? Red? Wait, have you read the book called? Um, a cat named Mango, or no, a mango colored space, mango shaped space. Just Google all three of those. Anyway, it's about a cat named Mango. Continue. Okay. Um, so the what did you ask the bird? Um, to show us who or what rocks is. Okay. He goes flying over to the uh, menagerie where the uh, uh, Grilgapa is currently trying to clean some things up real fast before going back to the tavern scene to see you guys again. And the McCall lands in the area of broken glass that he's been sweeping up. It's like, rocks. This I'm high as whatever. <laughs> um, I, try, I, almost said, I almost got my curse in for the day, and I saved it. I'm higher than giraffe balls, <laughs> so it's not happening um, right now. <laughs> That's much better, John. <laughs> I mean, I said giraffe uh, balls. I didn't say anything bad. While you're there, just where are you currently re uh, relaxing? I'm, I'm now awake and uh, coherent somewhat, and I'm coming with them. But I am uh, sl slightly disoriented. Okay. Kevin decided to sit on your head and kind of massage your temples. I love it. While you're in this weird, semi-relaxed, and yet inobservant self, you're wandering everywhere. Give me a perception check. Nine. Uh, Total? Wait, nope. Nine uh, plus... Um, Fourteen. I'm deciding between these okay, two Fourteen. Um, you see a old... Uh, I'm gonna let a middle-aged gnomish man who has a few too many pounds just kind of scratching his uh, sideburns very confused looking. Everybody else has had looks of anger, um, just straight up being tired and annoyed. This guy looks like he just is befuddled by something. 
which his expression caught you as weird. All right, so I'm going to tell these guys. I'm a bit incapacitated at the moment. I think you guys need to talk to this gnome over here. Um, okay. I turn to Gully. I'm like, we should ask what this jar was. And I'm going to go talk to the gnome. The jar of rocks that's broken. Okay. Wait, so is the jar, the broken jar rocks, or is the person rocks? I thought he was referring to as the person as rocks. More than likely, he's referring to whatever was inside the jar before it was broken. Gotcha. Okay. So different thing than I thought was happening. So I try to, t- while she goes to talk to the gnome, I try to talk to Red and get him, I'm feeding him small pieces of mango to get more and more information of right. having him describe as detailed as possible what was inside the right. broken jar. It's like, okay, rocks. You're like, what do you mean? What color? You, you see him hop, a l- like, hop to the left, reach down, pick up a pebble, like the one that was swirling in the jar, and goes, rocks, and then drops it, pecks it. How did the jar of rocks get to... <sighs> Player knows what happened now. What? So you go over Wait, to the. Wait, what? Gnome. What just happened? No, it's fine. I player knowledge and Pippin, character knowledge are different things. Pippin doesn't know, but Alicia now realizes what it is that. Does happened. Alicia want to tell Pippin? No, Alicia um, can't tell Pippin. It's out of character knowledge. Because okay. a play character doesn't know. Gotcha. Okay. Um. Can you tell me how the rocks got to the dinosaur cage? Me. Why did you bring the rocks there? They asked me to. The rocks asked you to? (laughs) Yes. The rocks can talk? Yes. I think we fed him poison mango. (laughs) I I reach down and, and pick up a rock. I try and talk to the rock. Hello, little friend. Hello. It's a rock. Hello. Those rocks are rocks. So, so these it? rocks aren't rock? Oh. So I've, uh, I've, uh, <laughs> talking to a so you tell me and I tell you. Since I'm a little high, um, <laughs> <laughs> is it possible that maybe in the jar was a creature that was uh, turned into stone and they reanimated and they broke out of the thing and opened up the I cage? go over and talk to the gnome. I'm like, you gnome, sir, look confused. Huh? Don't worry about it. It's nothing. Uh, I'm, nothing is nothing at this point. <laughs> nothing is nothing. <laughs> rocks are rocks. Continue. I just tell me what you see, and if it if it wastes you know three minutes, whatever it's three minutes. But you look very concerned, and I would like to help you alleviate that concern. Oh, I uh, ate magic mushrooms, Archie. Why is Quinto so hot? <laughs> uh, yeah, he was like this. This is a weird evening, and he decided to just oh, relax. Can you tell other people in a video? Um, Magic mushrooms, I might have to come up with stats for that, where you are useless while you're on it, but you're considered resting for that period of time. Hmm. So, <laughs> um, Not the useless. gnome goes, Learning I, the secrets of the universe. That's right. So, you see that potted plant there? Yes. It went from there to there, and then it fell over. And there was just this tiny little landslide going down the beach. Uh, Did they look like rocks? Did what look like rocks? The landslide. Was it like a landslide of rocks? Looked like, yeah, like pebbles in the sidewalk just were tumbling down the beach. It was weird. I go, I'm like, nothing's too weird tonight. (laughs) Unless you've had some of the magic mushrooms that Quinto had. You shouldn't eat mushrooms out of my garden. Did you bring more mushrooms? Well, that explains those guys. But, yeah, no. Can I eat some of your mushrooms? Don't touch strange mushrooms. I go to the beach. You should probably... (laughs) I'm kind of... I just leave him and go to the beach. To see if that makes talking to the macaw make more sense. (laughs) So you're going down the beach line. Yeah, I just very, like, 
matter of factly just turn from him and, and go to the beach. now very confused. Is like, yes, rocks. I latch onto thing. Rocks jumped off, broke lock. Who told you to do that? The rocks. Did the rocks talk? Yes. Were the rocks always rocks? They always look like rocks. Oh, I just rocks. Oh boy. <laughs> the rocks hired my friends. Not hired. How they did also How did me. the rocks tell you? When did When did you talk to the rocks? Uh, how morning. did the rocks get your attention? They talk okay. Um, the rocks were by Mango. The rocks said Mango for ride, so we gave him ride. Okay, <laughs> I go explain to you about what I've learned here. I'm at the beach. Oh, I head off towards the beach. All right. Can I make an investigation check at the beach? Yeah. Eight. Thallium and Kim, at one point, if I show you the two dice sets I'm in between, will you guys tell me which one you <laughs> like best? Exactly, Archie. That's exactly how I feel right now. <laughs> so. Archie gets it. Rocks and mangoes. Rocks and mangoes. So <laughs> that is the bird's true. existence. That yeah. is a perfect summation of well, the we're about life to we live. More than just macaws to the menu uh, list of Great. issues right now. So you are going down the line. What did you roll for your investigation? An eight. An eight? I feel like I'm trying really hard, though, but I'm really tired. So it actually kind of makes sense. Um, you're so a, frustrating because I know what they are. You're looking around. You don't see. Uh, you see a bunch of rocks. I sit down in front of the rock. <laughs> and just contemplate Do you want to offer any help to how I can figure it out? That would be great because I have no idea where to go from here. Investigate all the rocks. <laughs> investigate all, all the rocks. Well, since I am... Uh, in an altered Wait, state. You should ask the guy what was in the jar. What? I, I, oh, you don't mean the bird. You no, mean like the actual I asked, guy. I was asked, like, I have asked the him the ball what was in the jar. Okay. She gives me this great advice. I turn around, walk back to the guy, and ask him, Excuse me, sir, can you well, tell me what was in the jar? If you say rocks. <laughs> oh, they were, um, what are they called? Um, they're called tumblers. Tumblers. Are they like the special floating rocks? No, no, no. They're just weird little rock-like bugs. Rock-like bugs? Do you know where they are now? Not here. Yeah, thanks. I figured that one out. Um, thank you for that. Uh, do you know where they are? Any insight to where they hang out or live? Finding What they like to eat? Uh, they like fruit. Uh, I feed them fruits, nuts, Whatever scraps I can get, they're really cheap to feed. And that, they aren't really bugs; they're more of a uh, a fairy kind of like thing. You could have just fairies in a jar. I'm not there. I'm on the beach, <laughs> staring at rocks. As far as I'm aware, they're dumb. So, I mean, they have a little bit of problem solving things, but they aren't anything special. Where did you get I would them? Like to roll to see oh, if I, I stay them. awake. <laughs> Should we take an, okay. I go find you on the beach and I'm like, he, I'm assuming you're coming with us. And I was like, maybe we all just need to take a nap on the beach and then start searching for these bug rocks. Oh, I go back to the bird and I offer you two mangoes if you can find me the talking rocks. Oh. I look. It's hard to see, but I look. Okay. I think I go to bed and just tell him to wake me if he finds the rocks. Okay, here old crap. Um, he takes a mango and basically leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's irrelevant, Archie. You're good. <laughs> Don't worry. All right, so you guys wake up the next morning rested. Um, people are in the middle of repairs and whatnot. It's not nearly as jovial this morning, especially since there are now like four dead kobolds that need to be buried. Which so the mayor wait, we had a buried. we got a full night rest. Yeah, we slept yes, on the beach. Well rested. Oh, yes. 
I still think I should have taken some of the mushrooms before we took it them. It was great. Thing. Mm-hmm. So. Thanks, Valium. Um, so. You wake up the next morning, well rested, people are doing things. What do you guys do? Um, I'm going to go back to the beach. All right. And I'm going We're to... We're on the beach. beach. We, slept we slept on the beach. beach. Oh, we slept on the beach? Yeah, we, All right. I was high. We used to slept was, on the beach. Yeah, I'm going to look for tiny... Rocks. I'm assuming you told us that they were fairy Little rock creatures. I, I shared that with you. And then I said that how I sent Red on a goose hunt to try and find them. And that I'm going to go check in with him to see if he's had any luck. And bring him some mangoes since he worked through the night. Okay. Um, oh, I grow you like especially sweet mangoes. Mm-hmm. Like I use my druid craft to like okay. coast uh, coax. You go back to his tree. He seems to love this one in particular. You wake him up again. He goes, right? I hold up the bingo. Bingo. He eats it. Um, can you tell me anything? Did you find them? Do you know where they are? McCall's going to have diabetes. No, it was hard to see. <laughs> I went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, information first before the special mangoes. <laughs> I have an idea. I have an idea. What? I can shapeshift again. Can I? Can I turn into a bloodhound and smell the rocks and then track the little fairy creatures by their smell? Yes. Okay. You can I turn into a dog? What kind of dog is good at smelling? I mean, a blue hound. You just said or bloodhounds. Bloodhound also. Right. Yeah, any kind of hound. Which one's cuter? A blue healer. The blue healer. Very good sniffer. Yeah, they're adorable. All right. Well, I will do that. Okay. You and transform into this. The rock. I sniff the rocks. Sniffing the rocks. There's lots of just rocks around. Do you have a baseline you want to? I feel well, like the I need to get a new the, iPad now. The, I have iPad envy. The jar. You go back um, to the jar to yeah, smell it's the amazing. tumbler smell. Do you have the Pro? Stop. And it? The pro. The, mine's a Pro, too. And this thing, like clipping okay. Mine's just a bigger screen. You suck. You're going to make this me spend so 1500 good. bucks today. Uh, it's so I How much is the pen? I got this one for 650 How much is the pen? Like 150? Uh, um, it's a little over 100, huh. but if you get it refurbished, you can get it at 100. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, too was bad. Um, yes, that's the way Archie, number one call number. <laughs> we have to I get a love it. I gotta. I'll I made one. Oh, oh yeah, 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 but I don't know where to. I made it in Canva. Oh nice. I mean, I don't know if Meg wants to take a look at I'm it. Sure. Since I mean, I could make a nicer designer. one yeah. in a, um, Illustrator. <laughs> that would be fun. Archie, so. we're gonna send you a shirt this week. And Kim, we're gonna send you one too. Yes. Yes. Yeah, well, we already number, yeah, we talked about that. Number one mom number cult. Number one mom. Yeah, number one mom. And number I don't know who else mom. is, like, lurking on here. Whoever else is lurking. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I don't know guy. anything about Hazen. Yeah. Is Hazen a mech member? That makes probably no sense to anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Just get John to hire you, and then you can buy one. <laughs> <laughs> and we're all just oh. staring at the chat. I know. Yeah, we're I'm all just waiting, staring I'm at the for, screen. Ah, see, ah, nice. Hazen's part of the original cult Caleb and I started. Oh, yeah. Or was. He just graduated, apparently. Nice. But, yeah, Mech is Caleb Classic and I's. Cult. We'll quickly show you guys the new screen. I'll show yeah, it apparently we're just completely derailed. We're off, we're off the rails now. So, see, we got a giant TV up there with the Twitch chat on it. Oh, nice. We have a new clock up there in military time so Caleb can keep track of the adventure. It helps. The adventure see. begins. There you go. Yeah. And then All we're right. back. So, so. <laughs> nice. Um, you turn into this bloodhound. Bloodhound. Get the scent of them from the from jar. the jar area. You and me, baby, and, uh, got nothing but drama. I mean, do do I know enough between nature and being a bloodhound to know if I got a good scent of them? Give me a survival check with advantage, just so you have an idea of what it is you're sniffing. Oh my god! Sorry, guys. Don't die. I'm so sorry. He lives in Houston. He's in. Is that a male yeah. or a female? That's actually where our one friend who was in Caleb's game just moved to is Houston. Mm-hmm. We should we should hook you up. Houston. Be friends. Phil's Man. a nice guy. Thank you, Kim. Uh, you said survival? Yes. With advantage. Oh. Because you're a bloodhound. <laughs> I'll keep the first one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh Jesus. The, so the old t- one. Um, ugh, it's hard. It's Sixteen. Hard wow. Okay. Um, you get a good sniff of this thing, and it does not smell like, well, like, it does smell like rocks, but it doesn't smell like local. It smells like, like freshly churned earth. All right. So then I'm going to pick up the scent from where he said the flower pot fell over. Snarf. And go and try to follow it down the beach. Smart. 
as you follow it down using the 16, you make your way down to the warehouses that I mentioned earlier, which are the major exporter. Is that where the missile came from? Yes, on top of that building is a ballistia bolt that the town has set up to overlook the Bay Area. So, around that building is a group of barrels. Your bloodhound scent takes you up to one of these barrels, which has clearly been chewed through. And now you're getting a crazy scent of just rat. Gross. Sneeze. Like that But the tumblers sneeze. seem to have interacted with these rats in some way, and the rats left, apparently, because the barrel is empty. So I've completely lost the smell of the tumblers. The tumblers have bolted, but you can you know that the rats and the tumblers probably is with them as you Bless smell you. the scent going along the shoreline in the opposite direction into the jungle area. You can follow it now if you want to keep going. Yeah, I keep thing. following it. Well, what do you tell the oh you're in hound? Form. I mean, I tell. I guess I can, I can talk to Meg okay. in hound form. Unless a hound is a medium. Because you said... You no, know. Hounds are small dogs. Yeah, hounds words. are small, yeah. Okay. I say they went towards the forest. Follow me. I don't have thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> onward. <laughs> onward and not. Upward and onward. All right. So oh, the yellow. <laughs> correct. <laughs> yep, you got it. Troublemakers. Pesky little guy. I am really hoping that we have new friends after this. Yeah. We already got a goblin. Let's get some rock fairies. I'm all about it. Also, at this point, is there a reason to go find them? Because it's not like we're going to let the mayor punish them. Well, no, but they can at least maybe, like, clear our name. That's true. All right. Let's go. I just don't want them to get in trouble. Oh. Well, if we think the mayor's <laughs> going to be mean to them, we will just take them back. To the tell tavern the and tell them that we will protect them as long as they, like, clean things up for us. That's fair. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. fair. All right. So you begin navigating hunting these guys down. Give me one more survival check. With advantage? With advantage. Advantage. Hers, not mine. I'm hoping. Yeah, she has the nice. <laughs> I rolled the exact same thing both times, so it must be meant to be that I got a 15. Okay. That is more than good enough. As you go s navigating through all this stuff, um, you two, what are you guys doing as you're following this dog? I'm asking him about his trip on mushrooms and what he saw. Yep. I'm explaining the mysteries of the universe. And saying how I think I'm going to take some the next day for the first time. Yep. Okay. Um, as you are having this discussion wandering into the jungle, you don't realize that something has snuck up on you. Me? All of you. Shouldn't I have, like, hound perception? You were busy hunting. Mm. Go ahead and give me a, an um, initiative roll. All of us? Yeah. Seven. Twelve. Uh, four. At oh. least we go in order. I'm rolling like crap well, I guess with three of us... We can't go out of order. No, it's true. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, it doesn't matter. Did you make the shirts? You said you made it in Canva. Right. Sorry, what did you get? I got a four. Wow. Alicia? She got a 12. What? And what did you get? So, that's a she did got a seven. To post the... I system. work so hard on them, too. Yeah, you got to schedule them. To... Did you label the t-shirt? Probably not. All right. Alicia, what's my current uh, iPad? You have an iPad Pro, like, 2016 would be my guess. 2015. Well, you got to put your serial number in to get your trade in. So as you guys are just wandering through the jungle, doing your... There's a better General way to do it. Meandering. Um, Gully, you don't realize that you stepped on something a little squishier. It, you I might don't have, realize? 
Yeah, you might have thought it was moss or something. <laughs> okay. Hold up your screen. Hold up. And what's your armored class? Ten, I believe. Let me double check. Um, <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> eleven. Oh, it wow. is A L I C I A. I do too. I wish I had a iPad Pro. You do have an iPad Pro. It's oh, just yeah. an old Mine's one. Old. <laughs> All right. So as you step oh, on that's funny that your cup blends in. something, the ground wraps around you as you just get hit by this constrictor snake, which wraps around you, dealing six points of damage and immediately starts crushing you to death. Mm. I immediately stab it in the head with my dagger. Well, you're surprised. And Alicia is like, oh, oh, snap. And uh, turns around and... What do you do in dog form? You go next. I'm um, oh, sorry. So, in all honesty, I was really trying hard not because I don't know where to look up the animal stats. Uh, you have plus three to attack right now, and you deal 1d6 plus one damage. Is that in the player's handbook? Mm, no, I don't. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, and you have an armor class of 13. So, can you say that again, please? You have an armor class of 13. Just the same. Do, do, do. 22 hit points. Temporary. Mm -hmm. And uh, your bite attack is plus three. And it deals 1d6 plus one. If you hit. Okay. So I am going to try to bite the constrictor. Go for it. 13. That hits. It's a pretty big snake. And I did five damage. Okay. You bite into it and it just gets a tighter squeeze on Gully. What do you do? I stab it in the head with my dagger. Go ahead and try. Oh, wait. Mm. Nine. Okay. No, that does not hit. Do you okay. add anything to it? What? Did you add your attack bonus to I it? I did. Okay. So that was you. Back to the snake. I I can use my cloud of spores in my animal form, correct? Yeah. Uh, yes. So I'm going to do that at the start of its turn. Because it says when a creature starts its turn. Uh, right. So it's its turn now. So go ahead and deal the damage. Three. Three. So that's a total of nine damage so far. As you see these blisters welling up around where you bit it, there's just these disgusting boils growing around the wound. That's gross. And now it will attempt to crush Gully one last time. I'm going to die, guys. And crits. So that is 11 points of damage. I die. So Gully falls yes. unconscious. Oh, I'm sorry. I have, no, sorry. I've hit 14 hit maximum. Okay. So I am just severely hurt. Okay. Uh, how much damage did I just do? 11, so I have three left. I dealt damage to you last turn. Oh, how much did you give me last turn? Six, so you're Six. unconscious. Oh, so I'm dead. You're unconscious. So the snake is getting ready to just swallow Gully. What do you do? Uh... <laughs> I like Kim's idea of feeding it a mushroom. <laughs> Could I do that? Uh, probably not. Okay, Snakes I... aren't known vegetarians. So can I do inflict wounds? You can. All right. Okay. So make a melee spell attack against a creature you can reach. Okay. That's a giant uh, plus five bonus on your character. So roll a d20 and add five. And since it's restrained, technically, you have advantage on this roll. So I can roll, roll twice. it twice. Yep. 19. Yeah, that hits. Now, how much damage does the card say you do? So uh, 3d10 necrotic damage. Okay, roll that. Is that, that sounds like a broken this one? spell. Is that this one? Uh, uh, that's d12. The, these are the d10. 60? Uh, six. Roll it two more times. 
Zero. 10, so 16. 10. And that is technically one. So 17 points of damage as you just reach down, touch the snake, and you just see it shrivel into this. Ooh. Thanks, Archie. Shrivels up like a terrible dehydrated noodle. Now hopefully the sound doesn't go weird. And now Gully is still unconscious, but the snake is definitely dead. So Alicia. Um, I huff in dog form and untransform. Okay. And cast cure wounds on Gully. Mm-mm. Sorry. I'm turning to my spells. So you get one D eight. Fucking apple. Sorry. I use my curse. Sending me a technology two form uh, authentication factor to my device, which is nowhere near me. Uh, my spell bot. I was. Uh, my spell modifier, that's my wisdom, right? You get five hit points back. Uh, nice. Yes, wisdom so modifier. I was at, you gave me 11 and 6, so I was at 17. From zero, you go up five. Oh, so it, it five. doesn't like, okay. It, there are you no don't go negatives. into negatives. Okay. I'm glad we got rid of that particular issue. That was a very sounds okay. annoying third edition thing. Yeah, you said sounds okay. Good. Guys, <laughs> this week, the only technology hiccup that we had was that camera. Was the camera and then Twitch going out earlier. Yeah, like, that was Twitch. Our, like, everything actually worked. It's because we threatened OBS by, to that we would buy a Wirecast. Yeah. It's awesome. I'm telling you, technology, you just need to show it who's boss. All right. So, Gully's conscious again. And uh, you guys. I just look at John or. Look at Quinto and say, I'm definitely going to want one of those mushrooms later now. <laughs> so 100%. should I, can, does, Thanks, Kim. can Kevin, um, can Kevin like taste the air to finish following these guys? Go ahead and give me a uh, perception check or survival actually with some survival. So I'm proficient, so Thanks, 17. 17? Um, you've been following these rats for a while, and you're familiar enough with the footprints that they've been leaving behind to finish them the rest of the way. Um, you're pretty sure that they are not that far away at this point. So you... Just to let you know, I'm going to be very disappointed if they don't sing us a song when we show up, <laughs> like in Frozen. No. So <laughs> it's worth a shot. You navigate the rest of the way to this small clearing where you see this half-eaten um, cluster of bananas surrounded by a pile of rocks, which is loosely moving around it. So it looks odd. And as you guys approach, the pile of rocks stop moving and just kind of sink in around the bananas. I... I pick up a rock. It, as you pick up one rock, um, you pick up actually about five little rocks. You pick up its torso and it oh, has all oh, these oh, little tiny limbs and it begins wiggling. Hello, friend. <laughs> oh my gosh, I want to touch it. Um, what languages do you speak? Um, common, Draconic, Druidic. I can I speak. Common, gnome, goblin, aqua, and, oh, no, brewing supplies. That's not in language. Okay. All right. It starts screeching at you. and You're not quite sure. And then as it starts yelling, the rest of the pile comes wandering beneath you. and starts like, it would be like straight up hitting, except at this scale, they're just poking your foot. I I cast Goodberry, 
Good beer. Because okay. that's they they seem to like fruit, and that is what I do in a panic, <laughs> wasting a spell slot. And I have ten berries in my hand, and mm-hmm. I. You see the little tiny stone thing, which is the size of a pebble, and you just. I think they want you to put it down. Whenever you put it down, he rejoins the rest of the pebbles. And I, I then place the good berries they, on the ground they, in front of them. These rock creatures make a circle around the berries. Archie would like to sing you to sing a song. Yes, please. Thank you. No. <laughs> and... Uh, so they all kind of look around. They kind of shake back and forth. And one pebble kind of limps forward, pokes the berries, takes a bite. They look up at you and goes, and uh, yells up at you, which is barely audible at this distance. You're a druid! All true. Now this I, um, I carefully <laughs> sit down. Okay. And I say gently yes. Why do you want? Leave the fruit. Go away. We are trying. He is currently speaking in common, but the common is only audible at a range of like five feet. But he's screaming at the top of his lungs. Am I close enough? Can I hear? What's I happening? actually, I, hear what's I actually on. still like even further. I lay down on my belly sure. so that I can like go like this, and I say, "We're just trying to figure out what happened in town." The as you say that, he the one pebble that you've been talking to turns around and goes. Bah, 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 bah. And then you hear roar from the other pebbles. They're like little gremlins. <laughs> and then he turns around and goes, gremlins. We fooled our... I can't use that voice. We freed our people from the prison of glass. That's fair. I mean, we conducted a raid. Yeah. That is completely fair. Um, is anyone from town with us? No. <laughs> I... You got us in trouble. They think that the druid freed the animals because of my care for all creatures. And had I known you were imprisoned in the glass jar, I absolutely would have come to save you and your people. You hear um, one of the pebbles go, and uh, says something to the elder. And then the elder turns around and goes, you saw my people imprisoned. I saw a coin change hands. Were you there to enjoy our imprisonment? Never. We were no. Set you free. We had plans to set all the animals free. I paid coin to try to heal the dinosaur that he was drugging. Give me a persuasion check. Why do I charisma. keep trying to do anything with charisma? He is speaking broken common if either of you want to talk to this one particular pebble. I'm just saying really that I feel like that this role all of you. does not encompass the depth of my feelings I poured into this. <laughs> However, it was a two. Oh, no. It's true. It's a fair point up there, guys. They are homeless now, the animals. <laughs> oh, no. Why would you say that? It's fair. Um, Do you want to come live with us? These guys are a nomadic people group that wander the jungle in their particular clan, conducting massive raids on honeycombs and collecting fruit. They're a warrior people the size of pebbles. (laughs) I love love it. it. It's awesome. I love all of that. Did not the berries I bring you make your limping friend feel better? Uh, He is the limping one because he is old. But he goes, your... He considers that for a moment. It's like, you do seem to have a measure of regret for your actions. My only regret is that I did not know of your people to know what to look for to free you sooner. My only regret is that we didn't kill the mayor. Agreed. 
<laughs> Second that. They're obsessed. And my other reg- regret is I ordered the wrong uh, You keyboard. ordered the wrong iPad? I re- ordered the wrong keyboard. Which keyboard did you just order? I ordered the okay. Folio and not the Magic Keyboard. Anyway. Nice segue. We have the Folios. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. Um, train of thought. So what did you say specifically? I said my only regret is I didn't know your people existed so I could have freed you sooner. Mm. Can I re-roll this too? Trying really um, hard. <laughs> can I roll to What help about her? your companions? Who are they? Who are you? Them? We're friendly innkeepers. Who love all creatures and yes, wanted to set you guys animals. free. We were just going to do it later in the night when we wouldn't get in trouble. I can break you off a crumb of a mushroom if you'd like to experience. Give me the <laughs> tribal elders. <laughs> Do you like have this in hand and yeah, like put uh, it down with Meg the rest and I of have it? mushrooms. Yeah. That we brought with I'm us. I'm definitely taking some later. Yeah. We know of the sacred mushroom. I like it. Oh, I like it. Right? Yeah. What is what is your name? I am General Click Clack. I am the elder of my people. Well, General Click Clack. I am glad to know that you escaped to this forest. I hope that you use this forest home well and that in the future... I was not freed. I freed my companions who we've been warring with for generations. Because it is better to fall by our hands than by yours. Whoa, okay. we did Wait, not have you in prison, I was sir. glad you were free. Yeah, we love all animals and creatures. We're I, friendly. Go I ahead wish and you give me a persuasion check. Because he doesn't quite trust the druid. So finally uh, rolling well. Thank I you. Know. So persuasion is uh is that charisma? Yes. Okay. So I rolled a twenty two. Wow. wow. Okay. Yeah. That's a pretty good. One. It's like mm, I feel an energy from you. Yeah. You're no <laughs> yeah, druid feel though. That yeah. What are you? Yeah. I'm a dragonborn cleric. Mm. You're a priest. Yeah, something like that. What is your nature? What is your divine essence? Beer. The best of all divine natures. What is this beer? So we have suds from heaven. Do you, you want to like taste some? On some? You? Of course, I have some with me all the time. <laughs> what is beer? Here, try it. You have to like find okay. a little cup. Like it, I, will, I a, find an empty egg. You have your no, shot glass. There's also yeah. just leaves everywhere. All right, I'll put some on this leaf for you. Okay, you put some there. Put it down. This is not poison. Definitely not poison. I mean, enough of it is, but yeah. it, it's fun first. All right. Puns. You see him go up to it, and he just drinks it down. I like this beer. That's right. You definitely do. We're getting, like, major Thor vibes happening right now. I accept <laughs> this apology. You are absolved of your guilt. Thank you. Right, wonderful to you hear You are now that. free to go. Thank you. How do you <laughs> feel about helping us kill the mayor? <laughs> You just fly inside of her and, and destroy your her And your original captor. Yeah. Oh, vengeance. Again, not our capture. We are the redeemers. The captors left. We let them have the macaws to fly away on. We found our own way to freedom. So there were other tumblers in that glass jar with you? No. The ones in the glass jar were the imprisoned. We freed them, gave them our rides home, and let them leave. We then escaped to the water's edge, found new mounts, and here we are now. I'm glad to know that there are warriors such as you on this island. I wish you safety and the best of luck in your travels. Thank you, Druid. I get up. So why are you still here? I just said I get up. I turn yep. to them and I'm like, well, no one's going to believe us, but we know what happened. <laughs> yeah, That's right. Now we <laughs> know what happened. Absolutely right. no one's going to listen to this. So, do you just leave? Do you, are you sure you guys don't want to come like go, or what do you tell, do? Uh, tell everybody? Do you want to oh. come live at our tavern, be friends? There is no There's lots glory of beer there. subsisting on your food. But for a worthy quest, we may accept certain trophies. Okay. 
Would you like to, again, how do you feel about genocide? Um, so, would you like to come back with us and do some cleansing of our town? What trophy would we expect in return? Well, we can, you're welcome to enjoy all of the food and the beer at our tavern. Uh, beer, 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 beer. 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 <laughs> See? You, we'll give you beers to go. I mean, like two beers, and they're good for like yeah, a month. Yeah, forever <laughs> yeah. at this point. <laughs> Seriously. Um, how do you feel about pies? I bake a decent pocket pie. They'll for you, it would pie. feed you for years. Pie? Probably more food. Yeah. It's, so the the fruits and things that you like, I make it. I take some grains and nuts and make a bread out of it, and then I fill the fruit in it, and then I bake it so it's nice and warm. It's All like my right. favorite non when I order Indian food. <laughs> All right. Yeah. What would you require of us? We may just need your help uh, strategizing and murdering the mayor of our town. Yep. What about your current issue of being guilty in a few people's eyes? We well, I mean, if also, we take out the mayor. I mean, they have a better thing with you. I, I think you should tell them that we also may need that. I say this quietly. Like, yeah. I say, think that you should also tell them that we may need them to admit that they were the freers. Yeah, if you could help us uh, with our reputation around town, just letting the other people know that we weren't the ones that caused any troubles or issues, it would be uh, it would be wonderful, and we are happy to give you some beer and some food. I, I see your I, honor has been tainted. Yes. I pipe up. We also don't want to take credit. For your victory. Yes. We're an honorable crowd. Yeah. Oh, I will not have that argument. I will not have someone nice. taking away my glory. Yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, Alicia's far, mo far more charismatic than Pippin is. You it's can fine. Never take you my don't even glory. need to roll for that argument. Um, so, with the combination of redeeming your name and claiming his proper honor, he will go, um, the one that's been talking to you goes and again screams, I will return back with you. And you hear some gas from his clan. Yes. Yes. I will claim what is rightfully mine. I will demand beer as payment. You got yep. It. Done. We're, we're all for on. cleansing your name. Done. Done. Let's Done. go. Done. And then you see him go. I expect to be carried. Well, I mean, you hop weigh, on, buddy. You weigh an ounce. Jump on Kevin. <laughs> and you're good. Yeah. Would you prefer to fly on Kevin or ride on my shoulder? I am familiar with the flying frogs. I will gladly glide between its wings. Lovely. <laughs> Sounded oh, overly right. sexual, but whatever. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. So he mounts. You guys make your way back to the village and that is where we'll pick up next time and hopefully end the first this, session we started early and we ran late, ran late. this is our longest it's game right, it's the longest one so Fine. far does thallium want to hear the three different um, oh, nice. shirt oh, ideas i came up with oh yeah i'll have to check that out that's cool um so we have the one that alicia did which just has the hops of the <laughs> holy hops logo and then it says cult number number Cult member number one. I just changed that, and then these parts aren't exactly. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I'm so sorry. On the camera there. It's got. It's all gone. It's fine. All right. <laughs> never mind. We we'll, tried. We'll we'll send you some uh, some stuff, <laughs> yeah. and you can pick one. Valium, if you could uh, DM Caleb on Instagram your mailing address for a if you're yeah. comfortable with that. If you're comfortable with that, or you know, a friends. You know, we promise. If we're serial killers, we'll we'll. I mean, we're not going to fly over there. It would take yeah. too long. I, mean, I don't think we can get to the UK right now. No, yeah. we're not even allowed in your country right yeah. now. Yeah, it's fine. And Kim, we know where you live. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So we'll... Uh, All right, everyone. Yeah. So thanks, everybody, for checking us out again. Remember, you can reach uh, Caleb at Dungeon Havoc, and you can uh, jump on his Patreon, which is also Dungeon Havoc. Please do that. And um, on my Patreon, the adventure that I just ran will be up... Either when will it be up? The the one a dead ode. No, uh, this adventure that you guys are just finishing up. Oh. Um, I believe it's coming up. Where is it? Oh, Caleb should be getting a box today. Oh, yes. Cool. Thank you. Uh, 
anyway, the adventure that we just ran through should be coming up on the Patreon in like the next week, maybe. <laughs> All of the adventures from the first story arc are already on the Patreon. If you want to know exactly what I'm running, you can. I also have the statistics of the tumblers and their stat block in the adventure coming up. So, yeah, the more you know. There you yeah. go. And, and then, then if you want to follow us, you can check us out at Bite Size Social. And we have a book club coming up next week yep. for Once, Once in, in Future, Future, which I'm having a lot of fun with, but I think everyone else is probably going to hate. I don't hate it. And then I following that, that cool. is Full Moon. Kim, that's yours. That's awesome. Um, in like we still can't see the end of <laughs> October. So Kim, yeah, that's your shirt. Check our stuff <laughs> out. There are links on the Bite Size YouTube as well. Now, working on it. All right. All right. Thanks, everybody. Love you all. We're going to do the intro as the outro. Yep. Da-da-da-da.